Hi everybody, my name is the Flat Belly Diva. And I know some of you may say, how could she call herself the Flat Belly Diva when her stomach is all swollen? The purpose of my project is to show how eating foods from the Flat Belly Diet can help you banish belly flat. So today, we're going to make the Nutty Fruit Muffins and I'm gonna show you just the basic ingredients which are required in the muffins. I'll bake them and let you see the finished product. Thanks. Okay, in this bowl we have the dry ingredients which um, is whole grain flour, cinnamon, salt, baking powder, baking soda, and that's it. If I, I should have said salt, whole grain flour, baking soda, baking powder, and cinnamon. So I'm mixing up all the dry ingredients now, which is basically all that we have to do for this. So I'm mixing this up real good, and I'm going to show you how you want to incorporate it really well. All right, in this next bowl, I have all the wet ingredients. I have an egg, some yogurt, brown sugar, and vanilla flavoring, and some uh, canola oil. So I'm mixing this all up. These are considered the wet ingredients. So I'm using a whisk, but I'm gonna get off the mixer. Try to keep my dishes down to as low as possible as far as I'm having to wash dishes. And my video videographer here is my daughter, Victrol. So, this is our first video. And um, we might be a little rusty, but I just want you to get the idea of how simple and easy it is to make food. I pre measure everything just to save time and to maintain the integrity of the proprietary recipes that are in the book. I encourage you all to get the book. So I just want to piece your interest and show you how this works and show you that this can be done. Um, I'll also be working out. Just basically walking on the treadmill for my running. So my project is to actually just eat like this really as a lifestyle. And my goal is to show you all of the recipes that are in the flat belly diet book and then eventually in the flat belly diet cook. So this is all mixed up and this is the wet ingredient portion. Okay. Ready? The remaining ingredients to the recipe are shredded carrots, chopped walnuts, currants, which are like little bitty miniature raisins. They're so cute. And crushed drained pineapple. What you do is you take the wet ingredients and you mix it into the dry ingredients. So I'm gonna use my metal, I mean, I'm sorry, my rubber spatula to make sure I get all my good <coughs> mixed up ingredients. And I mix this up just until blended. And it's okay if you have a few, a few. It's okay if you have a few lumps. You just want to get it just mixed until it's just mixed. See how it's coming together. Okay. Then you want to fold in the walnuts. Currants. 
pineapple and the carrots isn't that beautiful Now the mixture is mixed up really good and now we're going to put it into the prepared muffin pan. Now you only have to show me doing a couple. So this is the pan filled up with the mixture and now I'm going to put it into my oven which is preheated at 400 degrees. Right. And we'll bake for 20 minutes so. Don't they look beautiful? Taking them out the oven. And I'm going to test them with the toothpick just to make sure they're done. The toothpick comes out clean. Toothpick is clean, so they're done. Now I'll just let them cool. Voila. Okay, as you can see, these are the finished products. I let them sit in a pan for five minutes. Then I took them out the pan and now they're cooling on a cooling rack. Um, to make this a flat belly meal, you can enjoy one cup of fat-free plain Greek yogurt. And voila, you have a flat belly breakfast that is delicious, nutritious, and most importantly, will help flatten your belly. Thanks.